special coverage on the Union Budget 2024. I am Shravni Sinha and today we are diving into the major announcements made by the Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman during the budget. This year's budget introduces significant fiscal policies aimed at driving economic growth and stability. From tax revisions to incentives for MSMEs, here are the 15 major changes you need to know about. TDS and TCS announcements. Payments exceeding Rs 20,000 made by firms to their partners will now attract a TDS of 10%. This move aims to improve tax compliance and ensure equitable tax distribution. A TCS of 1% will be imposed on notified luxury goods valued over Rs 10 lakh. This targets high-value transactions to curb tax evasion and generate additional revenue. Interest income exceeding Rs 10,000 from FRSBs and other notified securities will be subject to TDS. Revised Income Tax Slabs The new income tax regime introduces significant savings for taxpayers with revised tax slabs. Income up to Rs 3 lakhs is exempt from tax. Income between Rs 3 to 7 lakh is taxed at 5% from Rs 7 to 10 lakh at 10%, Rs 10 to 12 lakh at 15% and income above Rs 15 lakhs at 30%. These adjustments are expected to result in an average saving of Rs 17,500 for taxpayers, thereby promoting higher disposable income and boosting consumer spending. Short-term and long-term capital gains Short-term capital gains on certain financial assets are revised to 20% while long-term capital gains are set at 12.5%. The TDS rate on e-commerce operators will be reduced from 1% to 0.1%. Custom duty adjustments on precious metals. Custom duties on gold and silver are reduced to 6% and on platinum to 6.4%. These reductions aim to make precious metals more affordable. Custom duty exemptions for renewable energy inputs, lithium, copper and cobalt are exempted from custom duty to support renewable energy sector. Custom duties on capital goods used in solar cell manufacturing and connectors will also be exempted. The fiscal deficit for FY25 is projected at 4.9% of the total GDP, down from 5.1% announced in the interim budget this year. The government aims to reduce the deficit below 4.5% in the subsequent fiscal year. Capital expenditure CAPEX for FY25 is maintained at Rs 11.11 lakh crore or 3.4% of the total GDP, aligning with the government's strategy to boost infrastructure development and economic growth. Enhanced support for MSMEs A new mechanism will ensure the continuation of bank credit to MSMEs during stress periods. The Mudra loan limit is increased from Rs 10 lakh to Rs 20 lakh, providing more financial support to small businesses. E-commerce and export hubs. Export hubs will be established in PPP mode and financial support will be extended to 50 multi-product food irradiation units, enhancing MSMEs access to international markets and food safety standards. Model Skill Loan Scheme The revised Model Skill Loan Scheme will provide loans of up to Rs 7.5 lakh with a government guarantee, benefiting 25,000 students annually. E-vouchers for loans up to Rs 10 lakh for higher education will also be provided, aiding 1 lakh students with an annual interest subvention of 3%. Budget Allocation and Bio-Research A provision of Rs 1.52 lakh crore has been made for the agriculture sector. Additionally, 10,000 bio-research centres will be established. Natural Farming and Kisan Credit Cards Over the next two years, 1 crore farmers will be supported in adopting natural farming with branding and certification to ensure market access. New Kisan credit cards will be launched in five states. Schemes for job creation. Three schemes for employment-linked incentives have been announced. For the first-timers, new employees in the formal sector will receive a direct benefit transfer of the month's salary up to 15,000 rupees. Job creation 
will be incentivized through EPFO linked schemes supporting both employees and employers for the first 4 years. Employer support Employers will be reimbursed up to rupees 3000 per month for 2 years for each additional employee benefiting 2.1 lakh youths. For a detailed breakdown of the Union Budget 2024 and to access the Finance Minister's speech PDF, visit Good Return Started. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.